Every day we waste half of all the water we use and all that stands between our beaches and 500 swimming pools of sewage is a handful of treatment plants. I'm Nick Swain. I'm manager of wastewater treatment performance at SA Water. And in my job, I help make sure we recover valuable resources from our wastewater for the benefit of our community. Wastewater is what we call water that we're finished using. Wastewater is mostly just water with a small amount of solid material and rubbish, like food scraps and chemicals. SA Water's large pipe network connects the wastewater system to 400 wastewater pumping stations and 25 treatment sites around the state. About 70% of the water that goes down Adelaide's sinks and toilets ends up here. We treat around 140 megalitres of wastewater each day. That's about five bathtubs a second. To make sure the water is safe for lease into the environment or reuse, everything people have put into the water has to be taken out. SA water treatment plants use physical methods like filters, as well as biological methods which use microbes. But the heart and soul of the wastewater treatment process is the biological process. These microbes, they're like people to us because it's a living system. And um, just, just like us, microbes need to breathe and uh, they need to eat. And as process engineers, um, with a process like this, uh, we're, uh, we've got to make sure that the microbes uh, have enough to eat and uh, that they're getting enough air to breathe. My name is Nimala Dinesh. I'm a senior process engineer at SA Water. It's my job to select best treatment solution to treat our wastewater so it can be reused and disposed safely in the community. The first step is to filter out large solids like plastics. Smaller solids like grit and metal are also removed to prevent damage to the expensive machinery in the treatment plant. Wastewater is then pumped into sedimentation tanks. Here the water moves slowly so solid particles fall to the bottom forming an organic sludge. Both the water and the sludge have further treatments. Sludge is pumped to big tanks called anaerobic digesters. Anaerobic means without oxygen and the bacteria in these tanks live happily without oxygen. The microbes feed on the sludge producing gases such as methane. These gases are captured and burned to power the treatment plant and warm the anaerobic digesters. After 20 days, most of the raw sludge has been broken down and the dead bacteria and remaining sludge is piped to the lagoons to remove excess water. The sludge is dried for about three years until it looks and smells like compost. Meanwhile, the water or effluent that left the sludge in the sedimentation tanks is pumped into activated sludge reactors that use different microbes to clean the water. Different types of bacteria are needed to treat the many different contaminants. The reactors have anaerobic sections for the anaerobic bacteria and parts with bubbling air for the aerobic oxygen-loving bacteria. By the end of this stage, the effluent is mostly just water and bacteria. The bacteria are separated from the water before it's pumped into lagoons. After 16 days, the water is released into the sea through the St. Kilda mangroves or further treated if it's going to be reused. 500 swimming pools of dangerous waste converted to biosolids and safe water. 